is the only coffee chain that uses sustainably grown beans from Rainforest Alliance certified farms. The Rainforest Alliance certified farms support farmers and farm workers worldwide. The farmers are working for their livelihood as well as their families while protecting the plants as well. I think that we found we offer something completely different from the bigger chains. The work that needed to be put into the shop, it was um, quite in a bad state. But no, we got there. The easiest part, because it's a family business, so we all chipped in together and... So why didn't you choose starting up using a franchise? Because we wanted to put our own stamp on things and we wanted to use our own blender coffee and things like that. <laughs> we use a bean, we actually get it from a Borough Coffee Company that are based in Farnborough. He's been in the business for years. Um, the bean is from America and Africa. I would say we're quite known for our flat white. Our oh, flat white coffee is good. It was a coffee shop. It was a coffee shop. Yes. Yes. Um, I think with independent coffee shops, you can do your own sort of thing, so you can tailor it to suit all different types of customers and that's what we try to do. We try and please all different ages, right from babies going up to the elderly. So I think it's a lot easier as an independent because we can do that. On the 23rd of April 2015, the Chief Executive of the Fair Trade Foundation, Harriet Lamb, announced that they would be working together. Harriet Lamb said not only is the coffee great quality, but the Fair Trade certification guarantees that the smallholder farmers are fair trade price. <laughs> Well, basically, we, we buy in green beans and coffee. Uh, they're not really green, but we call it green beans. Mm -hmm. And then we roast them the way we want to, and we blend them, and we and we pack it into different finished products. Okay. Espresso coffee, filter coffee, single estate coffee. Mm -hmm. So basically, we roast coffee. We made a we made an April Fool's joke the other day that we're <laughs> going to start growing coffee on Leith Hill. Uh, I don't think many people believed in it. I hope not because you can't grow coffee here. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so mo all our coffees come from what we call the coffee producing world, which is uh, which is uh, basically around the equator. Okay. Uh, so uh, Brazil, Colombia, uh, Kenya, India. Places like that. We go again, we go again. There are a few different types of beans. Uh, the most, the easiest way to describe it is that there are two different Arabic and Robusta. Mm -hmm. Of course, there are subspecies of that, of course, but, but basically you talk about Arabic and Robusta. And most of the coffee we use is Arabica coffee. We just use some Robusta for some Italian style espresso. So the most of the coffee, most of the coffee that we use is of the Arabica type. Okay. Which is the more exclusive type. Then, of course, that can vary hugely. Uh, well, as I said, we get green beans in, yeah. and the roasting process is actually to roast those coffee, those, coffee, those beans in to perfection. People say yeah. <laughs> that's kind of a uh, well-used word. I think I'm not going to say it again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but what you do is you want to get. You, you put the green beans into a rotating drum, basically, yeah. and you control the airflow through that drum, mm -hmm. and you also control the, the level of the gas underneath, the gas fire underneath, the heat, basically, yeah. uh, to get a good curve. What you want to do is a cur 
the, when you drop the coffee in, it's going to it's going to fall down under a circle. So, so if the if the roaster, for instance, is holding 210 or 240 degrees, mm -hmm. when you drop the coffee into the drum, uh, the coffee that's coming in is is a room temperature. Yeah. So it's going to drop the the temperature in the drop in the drum will drop initially for a few minutes. Yeah. And once it's done that, it turns up again. Okay. So a little bit like a curve, you know, it drops like this. And then after about two to three minutes, it turns around again. And what you want to do really is get a nice curve like this. Yeah. You want it to heat up pretty quick, but then drop up a little bit uh, to get the most out of the coffees. Okay. So that's basically what we're doing during the roasting process. Yeah. And usually the roasting process takes about between 10 and 15 minutes, between depending on batch size and things like that, okay. and how dark we want to roast the coffee. Okay. Altogether, we learned a lot about the production of coffee as well as how the coffee is made. We also learned what the franchises are doing to help benefit the farmers. This is educational and a great insight in what happens around the world where they produce the coffee.